Departments can be very useful under list, view list departments. You can set up different departments that can be used by uh, different handhelds. For example, um, you can create as many as you want. And when you go into the schedule, when you look at the different trucks, they can be set up with two different departments. Uh, the way you set that up is under the handheld. You can go in and go to the department tab and add as many different departments as you want. They don't have to be assigned, assigned departments, but if they are, then you can get more filtering in on them. So here we can say, show me everybody that's a, in the development department, everybody that's in the support department, and then just show me everybody, whether they are a department or not. This can be very useful in set, setting up unscheduled appointments where we've got these departments that can be assigned. And when I'm going to schedule them, I can say, I'm only wanting to do this department, or I only want to do that department, or I want to be able to work in all departments. And as you see, it not only brings down the trucks that I can see here, but it also brings down the different appointments to only show me the ones that fall under that category. So if I want to schedule development, now I can see that those are the ones, those are the appointments. And so then when I come over to a day and say, okay, give me a recommendation, it's only going to give me recommendations. Uh, put my search criteria larger because it's kind of random uh, areas that I've got. Come up and show me the locations that uh, fit that match this department only. If I switch it over to the other department and I say give me recommendations, it's only going to give me recommendations for that department. Now you set those up, uh, you can set them up by going into the customer and either just scheduling and setting up an unscheduled appointment by clicking add here and then uh, you might assign a service of what the reason that uh, they're doing it. Maybe the customer called you when you're talking to them, and you can say that this is for development. Uh, what, you know, which department is it? Uh, when is approximately? Kind of, what kind of date frame are they looking at? They want it six months from now, today. Just this is an approximate date, and the reason for the appointment. And these reasons are all set up under the lists as well. Um, that uh, you can preset all of these so that then you've got filterable uh, different criteria on the typical reasons why people are uh, needing to set the appointment, why they're not wanting to do it now. Um, and so then when I save this, it will now appear on the scheduled list here as one of the events with the information all right here about it. Uh, the other way I can do it is setting up a recurring event. This is something that's going to happen every, you know, regularly, every three months, every six months, or once a year. You want to have an appointment that automatically sets up that will need to be called and probably scheduled typically. But we go to the recurring events, and then we click Add. And it fills in the customer. We choose the um, type of thing that we're going there to do. Uh, the, maybe you've got a, a status meeting and you assign it to the department. Again, there may be a message that goes with this that's uh, all defined from the drop downs that would populate automatically into this appointment. And then how often is it? Is it going to happen one time? Is it going to happen every day? Is it going to happen every couple of weeks? Or typically more along the lines of you're going to say it happens. Um, on the first of every March or something like that, or you can set it that it happens on the, the first or second Tuesday or all kinds of different ways of setting this up. And you can see that under scheduling recurring appointments, but by setting this up and uh, putting in the department, when it loads it into the uh, appointment schedule, which it will not do until it starts getting near that date, and that's all configurable as to how many days in advance it puts it in. But then it would appear in here with all of this information being the information that would appear in here. So then you can have it scheduled uh, for the department uh, that there's an, an annual or, or monthly or biannual 
different appointment that would be loaded up and trigger phone calls to be made. When you come in here and you're looking to schedule these appointments and you're looking at recommendations, when you open them up, you can see all the information here. You can click more right here and it will open up straight to that company. And now you've got the customer's uh, phone number and emails and all the different contacts so that you can contact them however uh, you need to contact them to then schedule the appointment, close it, and uh, then you can finish your scheduling or put a note in here, uh, no one answered, and then like a date, and close it, and then you'll have that for future reference so that somebody else knows it, uh, what, what happened on, on the results of that call.